Hi, my name is Marcy Tauber. Welcome to my studio. This is where I've created the glasswork that's going to be on display at the Mezzanine Gallery in the Carvel Building for the month of April. You're invited to join us at the opening reception on Friday, April 7th from 5 to 7 p.m. The work that will be on display there is primarily these deep bowls, what we call a caldera. In nature, a caldera is formed during a volcano when the earth collapses and forms a deep cauldron-like depression. These bowls are similarly collapsed or slumped into these ceramic molds and form a deep cauldron-like bowl. All of the work starts flat. All of the glass, as you can see here, starts flat. I cut it and form it into the designs I want. For example, this bowl consists of strips of glass cut and, and squares of glass cut. They're assembled, put into the kiln, and fused into a solid sheet. This flat solid sheet then goes through three collapses or slumps into the ceramic mold in front of me. The first slump is into this, or slightly um, slump mold here, so it gets a gradual indentation. The next slump is into this deeper mold, so it gets a somewhat deeper um, shape. And the final slump is into the third mold where it gets its full deep shape, resulting in a bowl that looks like this. Another caldera that we make is this filigree one, which consists of thousands of threads of glass that are hand pulled and then fused to a sheet of clear glass. I will show you how we make these threads of glass in just a minute. In order to create those threads of glass, I take a flower pot, fill it with whatever color glass is appropriate, put it on top of this fiber board, cover it with this small kiln. The fiber board has a hole in the bottom that lines up with the hole in the flower pot and once it reaches sufficient temperature the glass is liquefied and can be pulled right through the holes. So I'm going to put on my Kevlar gloves and use my tweezers and as you see I can pull the glass and it's, it all looks orange. This is actually black glass but because it's so hot it glows orange and you pull the thread out, break it at the top, pull another thread out, wait for it to cool enough so that it won't bend but it'll actually break, break another piece and continue. I'll go through this process hundreds of times in one in one sitting and then do it again probably ten more times to get sufficient number of threads. Different class pulls at different rates. It's, I can make them thicker if I make the opening in the flower part larger. I can make them very thin to be like hairs, depending on the effect we're looking for. And I can combine different colors to get a different result.